Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll show a new topic called uh, external user registration. So in my past video, you already seen that I have made a video on user registration form. So that is the, um, we can say that legacy version. So service now introduce a new plugins called external user registration, which help you to show many things in uh, a, a, for that user uh, registration form okay and in that in that uh, plugins help you to be uh, create many things you can design the flow design based on your situation you can uh, design complex diagram whatever you needed okay so without wasting the time let's go to that plugins so to install this plugin you have to go to the v underscore plugin dot list table and you have to type the external user registration here okay you can see the plugin name is uh, external user self registration these plugins help you to register the user them themselves into the service now and some um, um, uh, user administrator can review and active their profile okay so if you see this is my incognito and this is the service portal and there is right now no link for user self registration okay you can see this is there is no user self registration so in the previously user registration form is actually working on the native application but this user registration form will external user registration form will work on the portal okay so let's see what are the steps we have to do for external user registration form so very first thing you have to have activate the plugin called external user self registration plugins so i'm going to activate this plugin in my instance so i'm going to activate that it will take some time i'll pause this video and come back once it will be activated So just now the plugin installation is completed. I'll click the close and reload the form so that it can be reload the form. So now I am in my ServiceNow instance. I just quickly reload my uh, application that uh, ServiceNow page and you have to type external user self registration. So now you can see there is two modules okay the two modules if i click that user registration this is a configuration where i need to configure for the user and this is a registration request where the user pending request or all the user request will come okay so before i configure anything i'll quickly go to this service portal page and i'll refresh and show you that is there any link available on portal that to self register or not okay so now you can see there are no such link as of now for register yourself. So once I configure these portals or once I configure that external user registration, there will be one link in below after login to register yourself um, for uh, this um, external user. Okay. So let's configure first. So under the user registration, you have to have create click the new. Now, once I click that uh, new, I should be uh, able to configure this page or configure this user registration. So I am going to put that user session 2.0, something like that. Okay. And here I am going to just save that. I have not put anything. You can and notice that by default there is a role assigned provide user is set it by snc external we will configure those as well as so once i click the save button you can see uh, there are many related list uh, many fields automatically came up okay i will go through each and every section and explain you how these things will be work so first things this is the role assigned to the provisioned user it means when the user will be created what role you want to give them suppose a user register themselves 
and user administrator click the create user and create a user what roles they are expecting to add them so i am going to put that snc uh, external and snc internal both role i am going to assign them for my uh, example purpose okay let's do that somehow i am not able to see okay let's create a role here new user something like that and let's see if we okay so i created a one role called new user so these two role i want to give them when a user will be created from user registration form okay and then there is a one terms and condition if you check the terms and condition you have to provide some external url so suppose in some other page you put some terms and condition maybe in external website or maybe internal this service now there is a public page you want to give them access so you have to put that url so i am going to put that something like that okay so this here will be my terms and condition okay now if you want to enable captcha you can check that enable captcha so before you enable the captcha you need the google uh, um, public key and secret key for captcha okay if you don't get that if you already provide an update in your property then only click that otherwise your captcha won't be work okay next is the description so you can put that user registration 2.0 for new user okay and now if you see in that registration section there are many fields available and there are mandatory and some are validation only fields you can see so if you see the true whatever fields are true those fields will be available for user whatever is turned off those fields will not be available okay so let's uh, create one uh, field call i am just assuming that i am going to create one field call phone or maybe mobile something like that once i click here it will be uh, showing visible true it means this field will be visible for external user okay and save that i will come these other sections later because in depth but let's first configure this okay so our user registration 2.0 is configured okay and let's refresh that portal so till now the portal you won't be able to see that link the one more step i we have to do that for to see that link what we have to do we have to go to the service portal now open the portals under the portals you will be able to see one field call external user registration configuration here you have to put that user registration that you have configured earlier steps so put that and save here so now our form should be available the link should be available and the form itself should be available to our uh, this portal page so if somebody is trying to log in into service portal they will be able to see one links to register their self if you see don't have an account to register so this link only be available once you uh, register user registration and set that to the portal okay now if you click the register it will redirect to a catalog item or maybe record producer where you will be able to fill up all this information so first this is the title which is nothing but coming from here next is that description this description is coming from here and these are the fields <clears throat> by default you can see whichever is display in registration form is true those fields are only available here and we turn on the enable terms and condition checkbox that's the reason uh, 
this is showing I agree public something like that and it's redirecting to basically the uh, Google page or slash page okay now what we have to do once we sign up this record will be came under external registration request this table so is empty right now once we put this information here the information will be stored inside this table okay let's try to do that so this is my uh, guest profile or guest page i open this uh, browser in incognito you can see it's uh, right now login option is there right so what i have to do i have to put all the information here so let's put that i am putting that abc x y z and here i'll put that one email address and once i click the sign up it is throwing an error that i have to check that terms and conditions so i check that and click sign up once i sign up it's redirect me a thank you page for sign up thank you sign up page so now if if i go and logged in as an admin this is the admin profile and go here i should be able to see one user details here which is created an in pending state it means that user is not yet created it's a pending state if i go to the cc user pro cc user table right now there should not be any user uh, who I have that information called ABC and this email ABC XYZ you can see there is no user as of now so let's search with that there is no such user so as a user administrator after the guest guest user sign up or guest user sign up so whatever pending request will be there all these requests can be uh, find here as a registration request so they have to open as a user admin they have to open that and verify that all the details whatever we needed is actually correct uh, the correct user is sign up and then once we click the proceed there will be one user which will be created under user profile so now you can see that here if i search so the user is created with the user id abc at the rate xyz and there is two roles in this user one is the essence external and new user these two roles are created as per our user registration configuration we have said that the user must have uh, get these two roles once the user had been approved their request i think till now it is clear what needs to be done i'll quickly go through other in details so there is one call a one uh, uh, verification section in the verification section you can see external user verification one flow this flow will be run once you sign up once you sign up this flow will be run and then it will be verify that is there any pending request for you or is there already user is created okay this flow will be run at the time of verification and there will be one uh, uh, options called activation links so once you uh, your profile is created the user will actually get a emails that emails will be looks like that i'll just open that emails log so you can see this is a user the user will get that uh, emails like that and you have to verify your account like that click you will get you will click that and your account will be activated after some time okay so the time that how much time the link will be that how much time you are getting to activate that link this link activate that link that will be uh, defining here the 24 hours okay next thing is the uh, transformation okay if you see uh, this will be the transformation table will help you to transfer your information from this table to target table like sys user table so when you create the record 
it will be stored under our this table external request table right external request table and then from there it is going to transport to the sys user once it will be activated right so what will be happen from user registration that information will go to that user active request table and then from there only it will be transferred to the sys user table okay this is the process there are th three process first you raise the sign up it will be stored into the user registration request and once someone click that create user it will be go to the user activation request table and the number will be auto generated because of this registration and the information will be stored there and from there only the transform have automatically transformed to the sys user table okay this is the process okay and then this is the another flow which is called external user onboarding that will be triggered once the user or once the admin will click that create user from that that user registration request so once i open that and click the proceed uh, from pending to move the proceed and save this flow will be triggered and whatever in the flow whatever is designed it the email notification sending the emails activation gen link generated everything will be done from this flow okay under the advance uh, you can see uh, when we are uh, when we are um, sign up we are redirecting so this page is defined here when we are actually successfully uh, success our registration verify ourselves we will redirect this page and this is the error page this is by default populated you don't have to change all this information at all also remember whenever we are creating a new registration user registration configuration it will also generate a record producer on the same name this is the user regist uh, record producer by default generated after we created the user registration configuration here this is also you don't need to change at all if you need to change anything you can change but all these things are basically coming from your user registration setup itself okay so thank you very much have a great day